letters from a magazine Been looking for the answers Ever since we were 17 Cause we're gonna be legends Gonna get their attention What we're doing here ain't just scary It's about to be legendary I'm not gonna say this, I used to like running fast, like just the feeling when I was younger, that's why I started track. But it's a bit different now why I do it. But that was like, the initial reason. I like that, I started because I like the feeling of running fast, absolutely. Full it. Full it. I'll say the same thing. No, no. what's your reason? I like running fast, it feels good. It always seems a bit different when you're doing like 600s and all that. Oh. Yeah. But ultimately, we do it to race, yeah, so you want to feel fast in the race. Richard? So, when you say you're like, is it to the movement, how you're moving? So, is it the aesthetics, how you look and feel when you're moving? Or is it because oh, I, I put down a fast time, but I look like a scumbag? <laughs> Why a scumbag? I was going to say Nigel Amos, but anyway. <laughs> uh, the, the thing about it is that if you run like if you run like Amos, he won't like it. You rather run slow and look good. Okay, like okay. Yeah, but it's not something in the one. Yeah. Um. I first run. You said I take this drug, make me run nine five. But I look like Yui when you first came. I will take it. But if I'm running twelve one, then I look like it looks alright, pal. I'm on 12-1, like, what am I doing with that? So it's a bit... It's a bit of both. With him, I think it's the combination of the art and the, also the actual execution of the sport. Yeah. So, I know for a fact, and if I'm lying to say so, if I've videoed them training in the footage, he doesn't look good in that footage. He will not put that footage in that vlog. He will not put that rep on Instagram. Because it's all about how he looks and how he perceives himself to look. And yeah, not just me. Mm -hmm. No, not me. <laughs> me. I want you to give me out my words when I'm speaking. No, no, I'm saying that. I mean, if it doesn't look good, I won't put it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, anyone any, anyone that looks like they, they run with eight, eight legs, it's not interesting. Because that doesn't look good. Things have to be a certain way or he won't touch it. Which I said to you could be a problem in life. So he's either. He would go all in or it's all out. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's either treating his girlfriend or he's not talking to her. It's like one extreme to the other. Mm -hmm. There's no blur. It's not black or what? fully white. That's why he only wears black. Richard, you're next. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, I don't know. I sort of always wanted to do like some form of sport when I was younger, but. I didn't really want to do football because I felt like everyone was drawn towards that. And I felt like I had some sort of natural ability to hold it. Like, I was never good at sprinting, but when you were like playing tag or whatever, like, I felt like I could keep going for a long time. So then that's kind of why I began specialising in the longer distances. But obviously now that's kind of um, hampered my speed a bit. So. I'm here to work on that and hopefully that can improve my time altogether. Well, back to what you're saying. This is why I always get angry. I, not angry, but I get angry at your feces. It has to look good, otherwise, I'm not going to show the world. My friend, I want the rep where I've shot myself. I want you to show that. So when that kid gets there and has to shut himself, like, you know what? My idol did it, so I can do it. Yeah. I mean, I think you saw the footage of my PB. Coach will tell you a thousand things I did wrong. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it being upgraded I, and looking better. I'm analyzing. <laughs> but yeah, like seriously, like every, everybody wants to show the glitz, but no, no one wants to show the grind. And I love when people say, oh, I'm in the grind, but then they don't want to post a picture of them. <laughs> but they only show when, the when, when, when the cool lights are going to flow, they only show the grind when you're on the, tape, on the, yeah, on the podium. Yeah. Now, when you're on the podium, oh, the grind, was like, bro, what? You're showing your success. Shows the people the hard work that you put in. No, show the hard work. Yeah. That's what I always talk about about the thesis. Document over create. And my opening line in that speech is that most people tell you how they did it. 
I will show you how I'm doing it. Not how I did it, because you can't relate me. So by the way, come along with me on that journey. That's why I'm doing this to show that you know what athletes do sometimes get a bit hungry and steal each other's food. You know, like the bits that you don't see. <laughs> That's what people want want to see. Not the clean Photoshop picture or the picture that I've taken of you and you're in crystal clear light of you on the podium. And you know, you know people look at it, they, they look at it. If they like you, they like it, but they're thinking, fuck you, it's you, it's not me. But if you show them every single journey, first of all, they'll appreciate you more. And secondly, they might not even start, but at least then they knew the truth before they started. That's why most people especially girls, get to year 13 and they just stop track because mm. they, they realise, ah, I need money. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to end up looking like a man. Ah, I need this. Like, listen, so if you can accept all of that, then fine. But then don't pay to come home with training and then when I ask you to come and run, you start telling me you, you got lost when I'm beside you. Unfortunately, the person not here, but hopefully they will watch this. They don't want to be here. As much as they say they did, they don't want to be here. When I went with the train, I told you, the athletes begged my coach to lay easy on me because he was working me so hard. He said, coach, can you just let me rest for a bit? There was not one piece of action that I missed. Because they don't understand what's really happening. They think it's all the glitz and, and glamour. They don't understand that when you, all you guys get back home, I'm going to task you guys to work as hard as you're working here now. Otherwise, I don't want to coach you. Because they ain't going to work. Because you go back and you go back to the old Spencer. That turns up and start boy was people, why are you late? But you haven't done the prison seat before you got there. Do you know what I'm saying? I want everyone to continue this because this is not fake. This is how I live my life. This is how I am every day of the week. Every day of the week. This is how I speak to every single person in my life. And no one has walked to it because of the way I speak to them. So you're surprised about the way, oh baby, your mum rang me again, I gave it to her again, I said hello. But yeah, as I talk to everyone, with respect, my aim is not to disrespect anyone. But you will feel the real me, not the watered down version. So I left a lot of money on the table because I want to be myself. But ultimately the world will correct and turn, do a U-turn and come towards me, not me chase it. So I started training by myself, started researching athletics, started doing programs. I looked at any program I could find, Seb Cole. I don't know if it was a BTEC program or something like that. I just copied it, did 10K runs, get it. I finally had to get some stamina in there and get some bit of speed. What I thought speed was, it was, whatever I thought stamina was, it was as long as I was putting in work, I thought at least let me just do something that would make me better than I was last year and hopefully I can get the result I want. So when it came round to districts, I was like, okay, I've done the work. Let me just go execute. And let me just see myself crossing that line first. Because Grit District has loads of um, people shouting your name. And me, I like it. I feed off that. Like, I'm, not, I'm not scared of anyone there. When, they, when I know I've done the work, I'm not scared. It's only when I know I haven't done the work and I step on that line, I'm like, okay, yeah, I haven't done it, but let's just do it. So when I know I've done it, I'm like, okay, let's go. I'm with you. We're at the same start line. We're staying the same pool room. There's nowhere to hide. And I like that because in that football, you could hide, like, you, your team will play good, but you want to have you want a bad game, but no one knows really. Now, flex, once you step on that track, it's just you and your legs. That's what my mom tells me. Like, there's no one to stop you. It's just you, your legs, and see how legs do. Your legs talk for you. There's no this, that. You just say, come, let's talk on the track. And that's what I like, because if you're better than me, to come tell me on the track. I'll respect you. But if you're finished, if you're ahead of me on the line, I'll, be, I'll shake your hand and everything. No matter how cocky you are, I still respect you because you put in more work than me and you're faster than me. But next time around, I'll try and make that different. That's what, and then the, why, the reason why I started athletics was because I told myself I'm not going to be like my dad. Because my dad told me if, if he could go back, he would not quit because he really wanted to be a swimmer when he was younger. And when, when, the, like, when, when the championships came, he finished like fifth, fourth, and he just stopped it. And then he, and then he went into academics and he told himself in academics I'm not going to quit and that's what he stuck to and I said and for me our flex is not what I'm going to quit I said I'm going to give him my all and wherever my all takes me as long as I know I've given my all that's fine and from now on I'll just say I want to die with you I'll take the lactic on the chin I'll take everything all I know if I have to do this and I'm not looking back 
that's, that's what I learned. I've picked one thing. Uh, I don't want to pick like loads of things. Just pick one thing and stay with it. And if, if I have any other time, I'll use it for something else. But this is what I'm putting my, all my time in. And that's what I'm Okay, Suleiman, you're up. Can you stand up so I can give you on the camera? Because rather than you land the floor, you're up. Yeah.